Welcome back guys to a new video. Now today I'm going to be talking about the update that did go live yesterday for the PS4. So many people have been talking about this and also a lot of people on the Xbox are like, is this the TLC update 2? Why haven't we got it? What is going on? And so basically this video is to explain to everyone who is confused about this. Now, if you guys do enjoy today's video and you get all the news you need to know, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. I want to say a massive thank you for the support on the channel recently. It's been amazing. We're growing really fast at the moment, which is great. And I hope you guys did enjoy the new intro because I just thought it's kind of similar, but I wanted to change it up a bit. Um, and that's what I'm going to try and do in the channel a lot. I want to try and change things up and, you know, keep things fresh and new. But anyway, let's get straight in with the video talking about what is going on with that update. So, if you do go on to the PS4 patch notes, you won't actually see the news yet, and on the Xbox, it's all exactly the same. There's nothing that's been updated here, which is a little bit frustrating, because obviously there's some of you guys that do watch my videos, but if I don't get out the video instantly, which I'm sorry about that, guys, I wanted to get up as soon as I could, which this was the earliest time, then you want to know what came out, and they aren't updating the patch notes enough recently than they should be, because right at the start, when it arc was in early access, we were knowing what was coming in up updates were like two weeks before it was released then they slowed down and then re only put up the patch notes when the updates did come out and now it doesn't even seem to be happening which is very frustrating and it does happen just very very delayed so if you were on playstation you were shocked because you saw a 27 gigabyte update on ps4 and jack tweeted question for you guys for those seeing the 27 gigabyte update on the ps4 which region are you from and he got his answers and stuff and he did reply Thanks for the info, guys. The update is correct, uh, correct, though, does seem larger than expected looking into it. So at the start, people had no idea what this was or what was going on. Like, why was it so big? Because it wasn't the TLC update 2, but that is what all people on the Xbox were thinking it was. So there was people tweeting wildcard saying, what if PlayStation got it and we haven't got it? This isn't fair, blah, 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 blah. So I feel like they were, like, in a lot of stress then wildcard because they were getting a lot of people getting angry and stuff. And um, so they were looking into it finding out what was going on and to be very I was well, I was very shocked and I know a lot of you guys that have come to this video to find out what it is Ark then tweeted on their official Twitter, Hey, survivors, the PS4 patch that just went live is to, is to resolve a problem with structures not placing properly and the advanced workbench structure. But it said these items and issues are related to the DLC of Primitive Plus. Now, that then made a lot of people frustrated because, obviously, there may be some of you guys that watch my videos that play Primitive Plus. I personally don't. I used to play it at the start, but I don't really play much of it. I know the main amount of people that just play on the normal arc, and they were all saying, now, the pit, you know, whatever dinos you've been raising and stuff, they, they all might die, and, like, because I, I can't get on the official server because of the um, update that came out because it's going to take me long. I have very slow internet, and everyone was going a bit crazy, and to be honest I would be as well if there was a 27 apparently somebody were 28 gigabyte update for something that you don't even get like is it something extra like if someone um, if it was for the TLC 2 people would probably be like okay fair enough we're getting new content but to think that it was that big of an update for the primitive plus DLC is pretty crazy now, Jack um, obviously was saying, unfortunately, we're not able to cancel this update. The download will have to go through. The content is correct as well, so no they're not quite sure why the patch was so large. Very strange stuff there, guys. I have no idea why this has never happened before, but I'm sorry to anyone that if you're on an official server or anything like that, you've lost out on any anything because it's taken you longer to download because I know people may not have the fastest of internet, and even with quick internet, depending, unless you have, like, absolutely insane speeds then um then i know for a lot of people 28 gigabytes will still take a while like um and it's just not good so sorry to anyone that has lost out on this at least the new content and anything they were releasing is and the issues are sorted for anyone that does play on primitive plus but still very very frustrating for the others 
Now, um, this was a bit of information. Again, I know you guys know already um, a t about the, where, where's the TLC Phase 2. Jack replied, we're targeting that later this month. Now, what's frustrating about that, again, the reason why I put this information in the video is because we were told mid-April. Now, currently on the patch notes for the Xbox and the PS4, it still says mid-April, and it's probably because they haven't updated it, but they say later this month. So I don't know if that does still mean mid-month or they mean later into the month, like towards the end. Now, I hope it is mid-month because that's when my birthday is, and birthday is so it'll be good to have some of uh, the TLC stuff to dive into straight away. But, but oh, sorry, my voice went funny there. Um, <laughs> I have to cough, but anyway. Um... Yeah, it's just a little bit frustrating um, that that's what it is, and you know, it would. I hope they release it when they're meant to. I kind of lost place of what I was talking about there because I felt like I was gonna like, like coughing loads, and I never like doing that in videos. But anyway, I'll stop mumbling because I know a lot of people get frustrated with that. So that was everything that you need to know about the PS4 update that did go live. It was nothing for the console. We have got no updates if you're on the console. Um, and that the next one will literally just be TLC Phase 2. As soon as I find out the information on the Phase 2, then I'll let you guys know the release date for that and everything, the official day. Hopefully it won't be too long. But what we're going to be doing now is moving on to the news that we were given on Community Crunch 125, which is about the rideable mode Mo's Chops and a sponsored mod program update. So as you can see, rideable Mo Moz Chops returns. So by popular demand and by some discussion by our gameplay team, the rideable Moz Chops makes its return. For those who missed out, during the TLC 2 update we encountered an unintended mechanic which allowed the most chops to be rideable. After receiving feedback from players and regarding the creature, it's founded a new ability. Um, we decided we wanted to make it so but do it properly, so stay tuned for rideable Moz chops coming to an arc near you. So, looking awesome there guys. Um, and that's going to be now rideable officially. It was just a glitch that was on the PC, but this will actually be coming to the console as well. Um, so they're going to definitely be more in use, I think. But I, as we get more information of what um, comes with being able to ride these, I will let you guys know. Now, there's some new stuff going on about a new um, update, well not update, but new um, thing that has been added to the sponsored mod program, which is uh, called Immersive Taming. This will be joining the sponsored mod program, and if you do want to pause the video at this time um, to read through some of the stuff, then you can um, to learn a little bit about it. And you can also check it out yourself if you just type in Immersive Taming, um, Ark Survival Evolved, and you'll be able to read all about it because they're always on the workshop on Steam. Sounds like, if you guys want me to cover it, I will, I can do, because um, I've been covering some more mods recently on the channel where I, you know, test things out, upload it, and so you guys can see what it would be like um, if you can't run Ark on your PC and you play it on the console. But the only thing I say right now, it's great to have Zen in the community, which obviously Zen is here with your new modding news and stuff. But what I hope that Zen really does is get sponsored mods. It's not all down to him because obviously he didn't make them, make them. But just get them moving as quickly as possible. And hopefully we can see some new ones come to the console this month. Because it's now April and I definitely thought I'd, I'd be expected to see something by now. I think if we look back to some of my old modding videos, I did say that like we're probably, we'll probably see something by April. I mean, by now I expected S+, and I expected the third DLC. So, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty annoying how we have it seen anything yet but also just to let you guys know if you haven't if you didn't know this before zen is actually doing work wildcard workshop tutorials he's done number two and he's done number one and there's actually videos of them on youtube for you guys to t um to check out basically you can learn how to mod and if you've always wanted to do that of arc survival evolved and create all the different stuff you want you can do He's also doing a workshop a number three. They're going to be doing loads of them, so make sure to keep up to date. And I think the winners and the runner-ups actually win some money as well. So if you work hard enough, you might win some money there from just making mods on Ark Survival Evolved. So really interesting stuff there. But anyway, that is going to be the end of the video, guys. I hope you did get all the information you needed to know. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And apart from that, I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.
So quickly, before the video does end, I thought I would just let anyone know who may be interested a little bit of an idea of how big the TLC Phase 2 update will be on the console. As many of you guys know, you get annoyed with big updates because it takes so long to load, um, or download basically, and the last one was like 27, as of what I said on the PS4. So you're probably looking at around about another 20 gigabyte update. I know it's frustrating, um, but I just thought I'd update you to let you guys know that just so you were prepared that you know you're gonna have a big update obviously you've just had a big update from the ps4 and then if you are on an official server be very careful before you do anything big around mid-april because if the update does drop it will be around about 20 gigabytes and you will have to download that all over again so i just wanted to keep you guys in the news and updated with that just so you knew but anyway thank you this is the video is officially gonna end actually now so i'll see you guys in my next video see you guys later and i hope you did enjoy